What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I got some new goodies for my Walther PDP. This is a full size model with a four inch slide and I got a few new accessories for it. So let's jump into it. I've done a couple videos on this gun. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. I'll link them in the description. Also, before we get started, I did start a Rumble page. So if you guys like content like this and like seeing installs, go over there and watch those because I can't post the install stuff on YouTube. I'll put the full video over there so you can see how to install stuff like this. So on this gun, the aftermarket stuff that I've done on this so far is a Holosun 507C. I did some night vision optic height sights on it. I've got a TLR7A uh, Streamlight weapon light on it. I did the Walther dynamic performance trigger and I have a lock grips brass back strap on it. Now when I purchased this back strap they told me that they were in the process of making a magwell that would fit with this back strap. It's been a year now still no magwell that fits with it. So this is the original design of their back strap. I've reached out to them multiple times, reached out to different companies that do magwells. None of them work with this back strap. So I bought a new back strap. It's still brass, it's still made by lock grips. It's just designed to work with the Floyd's Custom Shop Magwell. This one's still pretty much the same, same texture, same everything. It's brass, but it comes Cerakoted black and it's got this cutout at the bottom for the Magwell. Compared to the one I have now, it doesn't have that cutout at the bottom to where the Magwell can fit in there. This is the Magwell from Floyd's Custom Shop. It's all CNC machined. I have some other Floyd's Custom Shop stuff on my MMPs, their magwells and extended pads. But this thing is pretty sweet looking and it works with those brass back straps from lock grips. The downside is it only works with their base pads. So if you run that magwell, you've got to buy their base pads or extensions. I opted for the plus four extensions. These are also CNC machined. They've got the Floyd's Custom Shop logo on the bottom, which isn't overbearing or too flashy. But those are the plus four extended base pads for the magazines. They also make I think it's a plus zero or plus one that you can buy that's nice and flat that works with this magwell also but I opted to go for the plus four. Also you may be wondering why I'm changing the back strap just to put a magwell on. Well that's one of the things I love on my guns is a magwell. It helps with my grip and where I place my hand. So yes I am going to have a spare back strap from lock grips that I'm taking off of this which leads into this giveaway. All you guys that watch my videos have been cool with me. The comments, I love them. I try and get back to as many as I can. And the channel's been growing. It's been awesome. I really like to do this. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I have a, I have a regular job just like everybody else. And this is, this is just a hobby for me. It's cool. And I kind of want to give back to you guys. Doing videos and stuff, you know, when I first started, it wasn't... I didn't think it would be as rewarding as it is. But it's turned out to be really cool and really enjoyable. So I want to give this original brass back strap that's on my PDP away to one of you guys. So, for the giveaway, I'm going to pick one person at random that leaves a comment on this video, that's subscribed to the channel, and is subscribed to my new Rumble channel. So make sure you do all three of those things. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Rumble channel, and comment on this video on YouTube. And I'm going to randomly pick one of you as soon as we hit 2,500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I'll go through the comments, randomly pick one person, and I'll reach out to you in the comments section and get your information. I'll send this to you free of charge. I'm not sponsored. This is my own money. I bought this with my own money. So I'll just send it to you. I'll pay for shipping, everything else. So make sure you get entered. And once we hit 2,500 subscribers, I'll give this thing away to one of you guys. So I'm going to jump over to the bench and throw these things on. For those of you watching on YouTube, I'll just come right back and show you what the finished product looks like. If you want to see the install, jump over to Rumble and check out the whole video. It'll be the same video other than I'll show you the install. All right, we just got those installed. That's how it looks with that new brass back strap, Cerakota Black, and that new Floyd's Custom Shop Magwell. It fits great in the hand, provides that little lip on the front uh, to keep your grip placement proper, and it goes on perfect. I think these are a, a great option for the PDP, and it's pretty cool that two companies like Lock Grips and Floyd's Custom Shop kind of work together to make products that work and that people want. This is how the base pads turned out. Like I said, these are plus four. They go on nice and easy. Works with that factory spring inside the magazine so you don't need new springs. That's how it looks at the base pad. It doesn't stick down too much. Uh, a little bit, but not too much, like the Glock 
extensions they usually hang down quite a bit more but that thing looks pretty good on there and I do like that it is all black now I didn't mind the brass of the other one I was gonna roll with that and try and find a brass magwell that would fit with it just to kind of round out the whole theme do some brass accents but that didn't work out so changed my mind and went all black and that thing looks awesome so hopefully I can get this thing to the range pretty soon and get some rounds through it Get some real-time info on how these base pads work and if everything functions properly. That's one thing you want to check when you do new base pads and stuff with the factory springs is that everything functions properly, that it feeds properly, all that stuff. So I'll do an update video in the future once I get to the range and get some rounds through this thing and let you guys know how they work out, if I like them, if I don't like them. But if they're anything like the other base pads in Magwell that I got from Floyd's Custom Shop for my MMPs, I'm gonna love them. So like I said, make sure you get entered in the contest. Comment on this video on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my Rumble channel. I'll have links for all that stuff down in the description. Also, if you wanna check out any of the tools or these parts that I use today, there'll be links in the description for those. And the whole video installing this stuff will be on Rumble because YouTube doesn't let us do that stuff anymore. So go check that out if you wanna see the full install. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.